Hi guys, it's Wayne here from Deep Blue Ideas. I'm going to give you a quick overview of the um, GS Project Resizer application I've been working on with Darren. Um, it's an application that will take your game solid project and resize to a new destination size that you um, you set up. Um, so it's actually a very quick way of moving and repositioning all the actors that you have on your game, on your project. Um, so just to give you a, a very quick demo, um, what I'm going to do is take a Take an example here, say Joe's keyboard demo, and I'll use that a bit. You can actually see it was an iPhone landscape project, and what we're going to we're going to convert this to a um, iPad landscape, for example. Okay, I get shown the scale it's going to do, what it's going to actually do. Um, so it's going to stretch and distort actually to actually fit the iPad screen. So that's not a perfect ratio. However, what we have done is built in a even size scaling option. So if you do see objects that um, can be scaled up evenly and you have it enabled, they will do. So your circles will come out, circles, etc. Um, I'm also going to enable this uh, experimental resolve, which I know Dan will talk more about in a later video. Basically, it will try and resolve a lot more attributes within your game. So, okay, let's just run this as a demo then. Okay, so it's processing this file. It's done it. It's made 116 changes to this application. Um, so let's have a look and see Joe's demo and see if it's put it to iPad. Okay, it tells me it's iPad. That's a good start. It's always a good start. Let's have a look. Okay, and it's, it's all iPad here. All his screen, all his elements have been put into the right position, as you can see. So there's obviously hundreds of elements here. Well, 116 to be accurate. They've all been moved to the right position on the screen. Um, the scene's all been changed accordingly. All the camera sizes, the origin sizes, the tracking sizes, they've all been updated accordingly to according to what the iPad size are. So if I run his application here, here we go. So we can see um, it's actually scaled up um, on iPad. Okay. Okay, so everything's been scaled up nicely. They all work very well. There you go. Let's have a look at some more examples. So that's the iPhone landscape to iPad, okay, very quick, very quick to do. Um, there is a particles demo I did, again, iPhone landscape, I'll send to iPad landscape, I'll resize that, okay, open it up, yep, it's all been resized, let's have a look. Okay, so as you can see, everything's been scaled up accordingly, um, and things where the application can scale, it will scale. Again, not everything will get scaled because of your calculations, etc., um, but it will do most of the items. Um, so it's a, a very good way and a very quick way of getting the application to the target size very quickly. What I'll do now, I'll just show you a couple of more demos if you like, probably get the more complicated demos. So if I put in here, it's Darren's um, one up gunman. It's quite a complex little project, this one. Um, but again, I'll just run it straight through. I'll resize it um, straight through to iPad landscape. So let's go. And a few more items and actors to change on this one. Yeah, 423. Open this one up. Okay, it says it's done it. Yeah, everything's been scaled up nicely. And here, for example, these round circle actors have remained and make remain round, so that's all good. So let's actually play the game, see if all the everything's worked. Yeah, looking good. Yeah. So as you can see, this particular example is this particular project it has converted most things to fine. Uh, again, the application's initial, initial task is to actually resize the actors and position them in the correct location on the screen. Uh, on screen to achieve that task quite nicely. Okay, so, for that one. And just to show you what the original did look like, um, this is Darren's iPhone version of the same game. Okay, so this is the iPhone version. So pretty quickly, as you can see, you'll be able to convert this entire project over to iPad. Um, with this particular example, with just one click of a button, so a huge time saver. 
Um, there may be other attributes in your, your particular project you may have to change afterwards, but for getting you virtually there, it's a um, pretty good way of doing it. So, very good. That all worked well. Um, I'll just take one more demo. Okay, the Geo War. And I'll turn that to iPad. Let's have a look at that one on iPad. Yep, iPad, all good. All good so far. Okay, so here's the joystick demo that's also been scaled up. Uh, as you can see, it all works. Collisions all working properly in the right areas. So, yeah, everything's scaled up quite nicely on this one. Um, you may notice the fonts aren't being scaled up. We don't actually scale the fonts up, but obviously that's a very quick task just to go back in the project and change the size of the fonts. Um, again, the initial purpose of this software is to resize your actors and position them correctly within your project. That's what it's trying to do. It's not necessarily trying to change all your fonts, etc. Okay. All right. So very good. So they were all iPhone um, applications going up to iPad. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take an iPad application. Here we go, iPad landscape with the card match. And I'm going to change that down to iPhone landscape. Okay. Here we go. Okay, so it's processing through the files. You can see there's a few more things it's got to work on here, so not too bad. Uh, I know Darren was doing some experiments with his running wild. I think he'll talk to you more about another video. I think it was 16,000 attributes were changed, so uh, a lot more going on in a much bigger project. But let's have a look at this one. Okay, now I know I built this one, and I know I have something worked on this. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, basically, the, to hit the cards, there's a scene checker that goes over, and it does that based on a variable that I've got in the oops, in the game here. And it's based on the card heights, and I know the cards have now been resized to a new size, so they've become 94 by 64. Okay, um, but what I'll do, I'll play this one through as an iPhone card matching game now. Let's have a look. Okay, so it's all been scaled down nicely. Camera set changes are working. That's good. Start the game. Cameras are working again. I'll go for the retro one. Okay. So it's loading up the uh, card match game here where it's mixed them all up randomly for me. Now that was a lucky guess. <laughs> Not every time. Okay, very good. So as you can see, very quickly convert from iPad to iPhone, iPhone to iPad. And this particular game, obviously I knew where all the attributes were and what needed changing. Very quick to change to make into an iPhone application. Very simple. Okay, so that's a quick overview of the um, Project Resizer application. Um, I know Darren will be presenting more videos soon. And it will be um, available to buy very soon as well. Okay, speak to you later. Bye.